Hey guys, what's going on? Handyman coming at you today. Uh, got a video I want to bring your way about a product uh, I got in the mail today. I uh, was very excited about getting it. Uh, it's a product I searched on YouTube, couldn't find any videos on it. I believe it's been out for a while. Uh, just couldn't find any good information on it. Um, but what I picked up today is this little happy. What this is, is Dutchware's 2T's hammock chair. Uh, now, if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen that I've been using a hammock chair. It was a DIY hammock chair that I made. Uh, lounging around camp works great. Uh, gear sling, it works great. Uh, but I got to thinking about I really I wanted to make me one that was out of a seal nylon that would be waterproof so I could use as a pack cover along with a hammock chair and a gear sling. Did some research, was going to make myself one, and then I found out that Dutch already makes one. So uh, placed me an order. As always, you know, super fast shipping. Got it here today. Uh, it comes in its own little stuff sack. Stuff sack is actually attached to the hammock chair. Um, you know, just like everything else you get from Dutch, you know, everything is impeccable. The stitching is great. You know, super lightweight. This weighs uh, a little shy of six ounces. It's like 5.9 ounces. Um, you can get it with suspension, without suspension. I got it without the suspension because uh, I already had a ton of stuff here at the house. Uh, I've got continuous loops on the ends and then I've got some tree huggers with some whoopee slings. Uh, total weight with all the suspension is like 9.8 ounces. Um, my other hammock chair was like 10 ounces. No difference there, but the difference is now I don't have to tow the pack cover. And my pack cover that I was toting was about 4 ounces. So four ounces isn't that big of a savings in weight, but it's just one less thing that I don't have to pack anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna set this up as a hammock chair, show you what it looks like. All right, so there you go, guys. As you saw, uh, you know, different ways you can set this up. Uh, you know, right now, I've got one, one end much higher than the other end. This would be more of a traditional chair. Um, you could set it up, you know, level just like you would any other hammock. Uh, just kind of lounge around in, uh, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, you know, the setup that I have, like I said, I've just got some tree straps, some tree huggers. I've got my whoopee sling, Lark's headed on there. And then I've got some of Dutch's whoopee hooks, continuous loop, fed through the end of the hammock. Um, so this is a, a seal nylon fabric. Um, I've heard some people talk about, you know, you're going to get condensation if you lay in it, things like that. You know, I'm not sleeping in this thing. Uh, this is going to be just a hang around camp when I get lucky enough to have some trees close by, uh, you know, close to the fire ring or whatever. Uh, and then at night when I get ready to tuck myself in, this is going to become a gear sling. Um, I'm going to get my pack, put it in here. Obviously, I don't have my hammock up right now, but this would go either above or below your hammock. You can store all your gear in there. Let's see what that looks like. All right, guys, went ahead and set my hammock up. Uh, just wanted to give a full demonstration of what I was talking about. Uh, I've got plenty of room to still put my tarp above my hammock. You know, I can get these two items a little closer together. Like I said, if I wanted to, I could string my gear sling under my hammock. Uh, several different ways you can configure it. But now I don't care how bad the weather is, how much it rains, how much the wind blows. 
all of my gear is going to be protected. Uh, like I said, this is seal nylon. All my gear, I mean my whole backpack's in there right now. I love the idea of a gear sling. Uh, of course, this is the Dutch work Amelian Hammock. Enough said about that. Great product. All right, guys. I'm going to see if we can turn this thing into a pack cover. Be right back with you. All right, guys. Let me see if I can show you this. Now, on your hammock chair, this is the stuff sack that it's all going to stuff back into. Uh, first time I put it on, I had this stuff sack at the top, and I think that's a bad idea because... It's just going to be a collection area for water. So I would make sure that the stuff sack is at the bottom of my backpack. Um, like I said, you've got cord locks with bungees on each side. What I would do is just go ahead and cinch, cinch it up. Okay. It's not as quick as just a regular pack cover. Um, but you know what? A regular pack cover can't be a hammock chair. And a regular pack cover can't be a gear sling. So I'm okay if it takes a few seconds longer. Flip it over the top. Over the bottom. And now what I have found, because it is bigger than a normal pack cover, I'm going to show you this when I get it on. I'm going to go ahead and cinch it up a little more. I want it cinched up good and tight. I take my extra bungee cords, just stuff them down in here, it don't matter where. Dig my shoulder straps out. Alright, hold on guys. Let's see. Grab my hip belts. This is a ULA on backpack. All right now. Pack is covered. What's cool about it is because it is bigger, is it will actually cover up my hip belt pockets. Most backpack covers will not do that. Easily covers it up. Like I said, I have got it drawn up just as tight as it'll go. Um, probably too tight. But I mean, you know, it's a backpack cover. Uh, you're not looking for fashion statement out there. You want your pack to be covered. All right, so we got a hammock chair, we got a gear sling, we've got a pack cover. I'm gonna show you something else. All right, something else that you could use this for On each corner, you've got these, I don't know what they are, ribbons, gross gain, I'm not sure what you call it. But anyway, you got some loops 
on the four corners of the hammock. Uh, I called Dutch today just to find out what are these for and basically what you could do I doubt I'll ever use it for this purpose but you could take your continuous loop out on both ends and I will say that the the end channel on this is about I don't know two inches wide something like that so it was real easy to feed the continuous loop through there so if you wanted to if you needed to you could take the continuous loop out spread this out flat and now on all four corners, you've got a tie out point. So you could make yourself, you know, a makeshift tarp, uh, you know, I don't know, just an extra piece of material for a tarp. You know, I don't know what, I've got a good tarp, but I guess it's always nice. It's just a multi-use piece of equipment. You know, that's, that's what us backpackers like, is a piece of equipment that we can get several different uses out of. So, like I said, hammock chair, gear sling, pack cover. If you really wanted to get creative, you could turn it into a tarp. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to show you how easy it is to pack this thing up. See you in a minute. All right, to pack it up, just undo the cord locks. Kind of stretch everything out. Here's the pocket I was telling you about. And what I've been doing is just turning it inside out. Stuffing it into itself. There you go. Super small, super lightweight multiple uses um, I think it's a great piece of gear that Dutch put out uh, hope you guys like it I appreciate you watching this video if you would just comment if you have any questions uh, hit that subscribe button please and uh, I'll get back with you with another piece of gear thank you